There was no NBA on Tuesday, but you can see we have a ton of games on Wednesday. So what I'm going to be sharing with you are the most profitable player prop bets. So this is early in the day. I'm sure there will be many other great betting opportunities for player props. As we always say, this market is dynamic, right? You can see right here, line movements are highlighted um, in red and green on Odds Jam. So in a very faint color, because the line movement occurred a while ago, you can see the Knicks went from plus 112 to plus 114 four minutes ago on this sports book, SBK. So lines are always moving. You never know when there's going to be a great betting opportunity. So as a sharp better, every single day we wake up, we go out, and we hunt for value. You know, there are millions of odds on sportsbooks. You can see SBK. Looks like they are moving a lot of lines right now. They just moved the Cavs from minus 233 to minus 227 15 seconds ago. So as a sharp better, you know, all these sports we're looking at and we're hunting for value, right? It's kind of like being an investor. You know, you never know what industry is going to get hot, where there's going to be some great investments to make. So you kind of wake up every day and you look and tomorrow there's a lot of NBA games. So there will probably be a lot of opportunity in the NBA. So let's go ahead and let's get into the first play I have, which you can see right here. I'm sorting for NBA, you know, all the main sports books I use. Um, and the first play I ended up going with is just a straight value bet. So early line discrepancy, we're able to get Aaron Gordon over five and a half rebounds at minus 130. And the profit margin is 1.48%. So I typically sort odds jam to see the highest profit margin bets first. 1.48%, I obviously prefer over 0.28%. And what you're going to notice is minus 160s on every other sports book. That's value, right? As a sharp better, that's exactly what we're looking for. So all this, you know, positive EV tool does, you know, a lot of people talk about, odds jam, positive EV betting, all the positive EV tool does is it takes these kind of millions of odds, millions of player prop odds kind of updating in real time. Here you can see this is just one market. This is just player points for the upcoming day. There's a lot of sports books that have already posted odds. There will be a lot more posting tomorrow when it's actually game day. As you can see, there's just a lot of data, right? As a sharp better, you're not able to manually search through everything and just find value. So what this EV tool does is it just points out, here are the big line discrepancies. Here are the spots with value, right? And value is all that matters as a sports better. You're not gonna win every bet. Sportsbooks charge four to 5% juice, four to 5% vig. So as a sharp better, as a sharp sports better, your goal, your job is to consistently beat the vague, beat the juice, and find plays with enough value to beat the vague, beat the juice, right? And there's not a lot of plays. Like you can see, there's a very limited amount of plays in the NBA, at least at this moment, for NBA games on Wednesday, right? There's only two positive EV bets that were available um, at, the, you know, at this particular point in time for the sports books I use. Of course, if you're in a different location, I'm in Arizona, you know, you'll have different sports books available to you, so you may see different bets. But this is kind of a no-brainer in my opinion, this play. No other sports books giving us better than minus 160. We're getting minus 130 on FanDuel, clearly getting enough value to beat the VIG, and we have a 1.48% profit margin. So I locked it in for the max I could, which was 65 bucks. That's the max they gave me. Again, sportsbooks will limit your wagers. Um, you can see I'm not logged into FanDuel anymore, but you'll even notice they're not gonna let you bet on the Pacers money line as a new user, like I'm logged out right now, above 2.5K, because the game's too far away. So sportsbooks can limit your betting sizes at any time, which is why you're gonna notice, you know, most, um, most people, they don't want to bet on sports full time. It's a great, super lucrative side hustle. You know, you can see in just full length YouTube videos I've done since September 12th, roughly the start of football season, we're up 33K as a positive EV better. And there's been stretches, there's been downs. We started out downs, there's been ups, downs, ups, downs, right? There's been variance. As a sharp better, you don't win every day. 
So it's about understanding variance, being able to deal with it, and just sticking to following the math. So this isn't, you know, this is a play I actually have. It's a hockey play, but I'm adding it in <laughs> to this video about NBA player props, because why not? Um, so Seattle cracking a thousand bucks at minus 110. And the main reason I'm adding it is it's a great example of a play with slightly lower EV, but we have very high confidence that this bet is profitable. And what I mean by that is what you're going to notice is the entire market is pricing Seattle as, you know, roughly minus 120 favorites. WinBet has almost no juice. They only have five cents of juice in their market for some reason. And we're getting this minus 110 on Seattle. Clearly a no-brainer play, right? Looks great to bet online. The Betfair Exchange, two very sharp sports books. You know, we want to use all these bookmakers as data points of where the line should be set and hunt for value. And if you're annoyed and you're like, yo, why are you talking about, you know, NHL in an NBA video? The point is the same concepts that apply to sharp betting in, you know, the NBA apply in the NHL. You want to find plays with value, right? You want to find data-oriented, market-oriented, you know, bets with value. And another thing you got to realize is you may be like, why are you placing a bet with such a low EV percentage? And again, it's clearly profitable. You know, clearly it's positive EV to every sports book. It's a low hold with super bets. So it's a low hold. We have another betting tool for low holds. Um, so we have really high confidence this bet is profitable. And 0.65% may seem low, but you have to remember that's 0.65% in just a few hours. You know, like the stock market returns 8% a year with tons of risk. If you could even get 1% returns a day with odds jam, assuming no compounding, 365% returns every year, not bad, right? So it's all about finding plays with an edge and understanding that there will be some downs, there will be some ups, but everything's up and to the right over time. You know, I actually like to show... You can now sync your sports books with Odds Jam. So you can directly link sports books. So prize picks, win bet, Caesars, I ended up linking. And this will show you your profit and loss over time. And automatically pool, which you'll see right here, it says automatically synced from Sharp Sports, right? It'll automatically pool your bets, wins or losses, and just grade them as wins or losses. So it's very easy to get a sense of your profit and loss. And I mean, as a Sharp better, it's hard sometimes if you lose a few bets in a row to be like, okay, does following math and intuition and logic make sense and make money long term? So it's very helpful to track your bets over the course of a few thousand, right? Because you'll notice there will be some downs, there will be some ups, exactly like all the plays we've given out. You know, this graph, it's not just up and to the right, it's da -da 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 -da, up and to the right over time, kind of like the stock market, right? It's like investing. So this is a play we want to be all over. The final bet I ended up going with, another NBA player prop, so now we're back to the NBA, is Al Horford over 9.5 points. You can see FanDuel's the only sports book with the under-favored, clear market discrepancy, clear value. So at a different point in time, you can see there were different bets available. You know, there was a good play on the Bucks. The market's dynamic. You got to get in quick right? You got to move. The more you look for sharp bets, the more time you put in, the more money you'll make. You know, we made 33000 over the course of, um, you know, roughly two months. If I would have been on Odds Jam more, making more YouTube videos on live streams, we're up 10k. If I would have done more live streams, you know, we'd likely be up more money. So it's really about time put in as well. There's no get-rich-quick lottery ticket in sports betting. As much as we wish there was, there's not, um, unfortunately. So we're going with Al Horford, over 9.5 points, minus 108. Clear value, no other bookie. These are fantasy sites, right? Prize picks and underdog fantasy are fantasy sites. No other sports books giving us better than minus 130. Clear value at minus 108. You know, we have high confidence because there's one, two, three you know, four sports books where we're getting, you know, that are all telling us the same thing. Yo, this bet should be minus 130. And FanDuel's just over there giving us minus 108. It's like we have all these 
stock exchanges telling us a stock should be worth $100, and FanDuel's letting us buy it for $75. It's like, that's a no-brainer. Clearly, we want to do that. It's because it's logical. So then what you do is you just refresh. What are the other positive EV plays available? And you'll see new plays come up. And then you hit those, and you make some freaking money like we're about to do. Let's go.